When it comes to partaking in the devil's lettuce, I would say that I like to partake in it quite often. However, being older, I needed to limit myself. I needed to set my priorities straight, or whatever. Man, that's lame as fuck. But back in high school, it was a completely different story. And in fact, I remember going on a marathon high for an entire week of school. Yeah, you heard me. Mama didn't raise no pussy, but she did raise a gentleman of class. By the way, thanks for 3,000 subscribers. Like and subscribe for more. Anyway, it's a Sunday, and I'm at my boy Anthony's house, and we're just chilling and talking about random shit. Yo, Madison Beer is bad as fuck. Yeah, but like... What would Alexa look like? But would you rather fight a black bear or a polar bear? Okay, quick question, but become Guts or dinner with Jay-Z? Oh shit, that's a really good question. You know, we're just having like the most random conversation ever. All the boys watching this, you guys know what I'm talking about. But then somehow, the homie Anthony popped the question. So like, what if you were high? for a month yo. yo oh yeah now that shit sounded like a good ass idea at the time but what we didn't realize was that we were signing ourselves up for some good old-fashioned prisoner of war torture so it's right before school and me and the homie are just chilling in the car and we get viciously faded. So I just picked up a new Graham cart and we are absolutely ripping it. And once we finish our business, we hop out and head into the school. And not to say I'm a lightweight or something, but I was fighting some demons that day, bro. Like I was mentally absent that day. Like when I get faded, I start having some wild ass thoughts. Yo, so like what if the school went into a lockdown, but then like... I saved the school. Yo, but like, if I could stop time right now, I would do some like, devious shit right now. Damn, I'm hungry. Man, she is so fine. I wish I would get to know her and then take her out to a nice restaurant and then wine and dine her. Then drop her off at home at a respectable time. Man, I wonder if I need a fart. Let's try and make it quiet. Like, this is the type of shit that I would do when I was bored. And then whenever me or the homie felt like we were coming down from our highs, we would just meet in the bathroom and then reset back to peak Cheech and Chong. Luckily, the day ended with no hitches, besides me and the homie being absolutely faded. Same shit, different day. We pull up and we smoke, and then we head back into the school. But you see, what was good about today was me and the homie had a majority of our classes together. So we got to chill and hang out pretty much all day. So since we were in classes together, me and the homie decided to start to play this game where we would send each other funny videos that like we seen through like watching Instagram reels. And the goal was that if you laughed, then you had to take a hit of the pen. So we start. And I send the homie a video, and he is stone-faced. But I can tell he's in a crack. I just need to hit him with a solid video. But then, the homie sends me this video. I started hitting that one piece ass laugh and I could not breathe to save my life. And I guess my homie started losing his shit after seeing my dumbass flopping around and laughing because he started to do the same exact thing. And then my teacher is over here looking at us like we're retarded. Hey, the fuck is wrong with you idiots? At least go laugh in the hall. Stupid fucking kids. And that was pretty much my only memory for that entire school day because I was gone. But I thought it was only gonna be shits and giggles from here. But man, if only I could have told myself now to stop. Yet again, back at it with the tomfoolery. But today felt different. I woke up and my mind and body were Ouch. not having it. Like, I know my brain was trying to tell me. Hey, hey bitch, hey, hey, stop, stop smoking that smoking shit. That shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm dying, dying bruh. Dying, dying. But mama didn't raise no pussy, baby. Yeah, I was in for it now. Cause we go to class, but the paranoia starts to come bad. Like, I'm on the verge of having a full mental breakdown. But I somehow managed to play it cool. And come lunchtime, my body feels like a damn sandbag. And I'm just struggling to make it to the end of the day. But like an angel sent to me from the heavens, the homie pulls up on me, and you wouldn't even guess what he surprised me with. Some old fucking Krispy Kreme. 
and my ass was happier than an orphan getting adopted because I started devouring that shit like I haven't eaten in days, which it's not like I would know because I could barely even remember the last few days, but at that moment, nothing else in the world mattered to me. It was just me and my donuts. <laughs> Next day I pull up and I'm with the homie, but at this point I felt defeated. I didn't want to smoke anymore, I was tired, and I actually wanted to feel like I wasn't gonna die every few minutes. But then the homie hits me with the pep talk. Oh, never back down, never what? Never give up. Never back down, never what? Never give up! Let's run it! Let's go! And I was in it for round four, and I absolutely regret it because i could barely function i'm stumbling my ass into the school with my eyes redder than some sharingan but i ain't no uchiha i was just retarded so now i have to deal with the pain of sitting in school all baked like what idiot would waste these moments sitting and learning like i should be frolicking in some damn fields right now not learning the quadratic formula and shit but the derealization was hitting me hard because time felt hella slow like everything was in slow motion and I swear that I was able to see myself in third person like it was GTA or something and the only thing that I could think about to get me through the day was the thought of being able to go home and sleep in my bed. Man, I'm watching YouTube right now. Hey, do your cart batteries keep dying or you keep losing them? Yeah. Well, say no more, cause Toki has your back. Wow. With this fresh ass design and a big ass battery life, you'll never waste your time. You can also do dabs with this shit wow. with the right attachments. Also, if you use code LAWD10 at checkout, you get 10% off your order. Wow. Oh shit, I'm gonna have to cop. So what are you waiting for? Go over to mytoki.com and go get your battery and make sure you use code LAWD10. The last day of the marathon, and the homie and I are exhausted. We don't even want to smoke anymore, but all our efforts would be wasted if we were to give up now. So, we had to do what was only right, and for the last day, we smoked our hearts out. <laughs> And let me just say this as a disclaimer, don't do this. It may sound fun at first, but ain't nothing fun about this. Like, I swear that I'm still recovering from the events of that day currently. The good news is though, I survived the day with almost no incident, but I actually did end up bombing my math test that day, but overall, the experiment went great. And the only takeaway I had from this experience was, be smart with your drugs and don't waste it in school. Anyway, see ya.